गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ चैप्टर मोशन इन द साइंस टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एंड नाइन्थ द लास्ट टॉपिक दैट वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस टुडे इज यूनिफॉर्म सर्कुलर मोशन नाउ सर्कुलर मोशन इज नॉट अ न्यू टर्म फॉर यू यू कैन योर सेल्फ गिव मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सर्कुलर मोशन वाट वी हैव टू रीड हियर इज यूनिफॉर्म सर्कुलर मोशन फॉर विच the definition is written over here that if a body moves in a circular path with constant speed then its motion is said to be uniform circular motion before i discuss this particular example you have to understand these two terms circular there is no problem constant speed if the speed does not change in time Now speed is a scalar quantity. It has some value. Suppose the value of speed is two meters per second at some instant. If the body continues to move in a circular path at a constant speed of two meter per second, then we will say that this kind of circular motion is uniform circular motion. What is uniform in uniform circular motion? It is the speed which is uniform. so that is the definition for uniform circular motion students if v be the speed of the body moving in uniform circular motion and r be the radius the body suppose it starts from this point this point i'll call it as a after completing one round it will come back to this point that time is spent for completing one revolution is called as time period which we write as capital t so capital t is our time period what is the meaning of time period time period is the time taken to complete one complete revolution now v is the speed of the body and in one round it takes how much time t we know that v is equal to v is speed distance traveled upon time taken if time is equal to time period this time is equal to time period which is capital t what does that mean that means the body has spent a time that is equivalent to the time required to complete one revolution if time is equal to time period then what will be the distance in one revolution what is the distance students in one revolution the distance is nothing but equal to the circumference of the circle that is equal to 2 times pi times radius of the circle that is capital r therefore v will be given as distance upon time the distance is how much for one round the distance is 2 pi r and the time is capital t so this is the relationship between v capital t that is time period and r that is radius of the circle if t and r are given you can find v and out of these three parameters v r and t if any two are given you can find it i would like to discuss something more regarding velocity in this particular case of uniform circular motion so i am rubbing this part if i ask you a question that during this uniform circular motion is the velocity constant let's check it out before i discuss that i must introduce to you the concept of tangent to a circle what is the meaning of a tangent suppose you have a circle this is the center of the circle choose any point this is the radius joining that point to the center at this point if i ask you to draw the tangent that tangent will be perpendicular to this radius so it will be drawn like this 
and it will touch the circle at exactly one point so this is the concept likewise we can choose other points also at any point the tangent will touch the circle at exactly one point at this point if i ask you to draw the tangent it will be some line like this and again the tangent at this point will be perpendicular to the radius so what you should remember students tangent is a line and we are discussing this in context of a circle so tangent is a line which touches the circle touches the circle at exactly one point and it is perpendicular to radius now if i draw a circle like this and if i draw a line like this then do you think it is tangent it is not a tangent because it is not touching it is cutting the circle understand the difference between the words touching and intersecting or cutting if we produce this line on producing this line it will cut the circle at one more point but if we produce this particular line even on producing it will never meet the circle again so such a line is called as tangent and that tangent is always perpendicular to radius having understood the concept for tangent let's discuss the direction of a velocity in uniform circular motion we have discussed in uniform circular motion the speed is constant consider the particle to be at this point it is moving in circular path like this when it happens to come at this lowest point a it has a tendency to move in that particular direction we say the direction of velocity is along the tangent likewise when it comes to this particular point say b it is having a velocity in this direction you can see here it has a tendency to go upward so here the velocity will be upward like this here the velocity will be towards left like this here the velocity will be downward like this and so on so what we find the velocity is always along the tangent to the circle at that point we can draw some more points so that it becomes clear at this point the tangent tangent should be drawn like this so that if even if you produce it will touch the circle only at one point at this point the tangent will be like so at this point the tangent will be like so but the value of the velocity will remain constant that is v so what is important thing to understand here that velocity is directed along tangent to the circle in uniform circular motion ucm uniform circular motion number 1 velocity is directed along the tangent second point the magnitude of velocity is fixed the value of velocity at all the points v v v v if it is 2 meter per second here it has to be 2 meter per second at all the points this is regarding magnitude what about direction the direction of velocity changes continuously we discussed velocity is directed along the tangent as you move along the circular path the direction of velocity you can see here the velocity is like this here the velocity is like this here velocity is upward here velocity is left here velocity is downward so at all the points the velocity is in a different direction along the tangent now this third point is very very important so we can say our conclusion is this that the velocity vector in uniform circular motion changes this change in velocity is not due to its magnitude its magnitude is not changing this change in velocity is not due to its magnitude but is due to change in its direction so we say in uniform circular motion the direction of velocity is changing hence velocity is changing remember students velocity is a vector quantity 
for a vector quantity to be constant both its magnitude and direction must be constant here the magnitude of velocity is constant but its direction keeps on changing so we say that there is some change in velocity velocity changes this change in velocity results in acceleration we know how do we define acceleration acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity since the velocity is changing here therefore there is an acceleration and therefore very important point uniform circular motion is an accelerated motion it is what kind of motion accelerated motion so remember for acceleration it's not necessary that value of velocity will change even if you are changing the direction of velocity then there will be some acceleration this acceleration you will learn in higher classes is always directed towards center towards center now let me draw this so in the figure we have drawn the directions of velocity now i'll draw the directions for acceleration at this point the direction of acceleration will be like this towards the center at this point acceleration will be towards center at this point towards center at any point the direction of acceleration is towards center so we can say acceleration is along the radius and velocity is along the tangent this acceleration since it is directed towards the center hence it is given a name so it is called as centripetal acceleration centripetal acceleration what is the meaning of centripetal centripetal means center seeking one who needs center one who likes center since this acceleration is directed towards the center that's why it is called as centripetal acceleration is it clear students so if the points that i have discussed are clear then you should be able to do these questions four questions i am giving you as an assignment you will do in your notebook first question define uniform circular motion so if any body moves in a circular path with constant speed that motion is called as uniform circular motion is uniform circular motion ucm i mean uniform circular motion and accelerated motion answer is yes you also give the justification why is uniform circular motion and accelerated motion so what i have explained just before this particular uh, moment that in uniform circular motion the value of velocity is fixed but its direction keeps on changing this change in direction of velocity results in acceleration that is the that's why the uniform circular motion is accelerated motion third question what is the uh, where is instantaneous velocity directed in uniform circular motion the velocity is always directed along the tangent to the circle fourth one what is the direction of acceleration in uniform circular motion the acceleration is always directed towards the center in case of uniform circular motion now before concluding let me discuss one question here this is a figure pertaining to uniform circular motion body is moving in a circular path with some constant speed r is the radius which is given to be 14 meters and the time period is given t is equal to 14 pi second you have to find average speed from a to b and average velocity from a to b see students to find average speed from a to b average speed i'll write as v average or i am writing directly as average speed what is the formula for average speed average speed is given by the formula total distance traveled by total time taken so distance traveled upon time taken now what is the distance from a to b this distance this is a quadrant of a circle this is full circle it is 1/4 of a circle so distance is equal to 1/4 of circumference upon time period is how much t but t is the time period that means the time taken to complete one revolution here we want the time to go from a to b so if t is the time for one round 
दिस इज वन फोर्थ ऑफ द राउंड फ्रॉम ए टू ए टाइम पीरियड इज टी फॉर सेमी सर्कल टाइम पीरियड विल बी टी बाई टू फॉर क्वार ऑफ ए सर्कल द टाइम पीरियड विल बी टी बाई फोर सो फोर फोर विल कैंसिल आंसर विल बी सरकमफरेंस बाई टी वॉट इज सरकमफरेंस ऑफ ए सर्कल टू पाई आर एंड हाउ मच इज टाइम टी गिवन टी इज गिवन एज फोर्टीन पाई सो पाई पाई विल कैंसिल टू आर बाई फोर्टीन पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ आर इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन फोर्टीन एंड फोर्टीन विल कैंसिल हाउ मच विल बी लेफ्ट टू मीटर्स पर सेकेंड दैट इज द आंसर टू नंबर ए इन बी दे आर आस्किंग वट इज द एवरेज वेलॉसिटी फ्रॉम ए टू बी ना एवरेज वेलॉसिटी वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू डिसप्लेसमेंट बाई टाइम टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस डबल दियर इट इज टी बाई फोर फ्रॉम ए टू बी ना वॉट इज द डिसप्लेसमेंट डिसप्लेसमेंट इज द शॉर्टेस्ट स्ट्रेट लाइन पाथ फ्रॉम इनिशियल टू फाइनल पोजिशन दिस इज ए एंड दिस इज बी फॉर गेट अबाउट द पाथ just join the initial point to the final point so this is our displacement to find this displacement we can use pythagoras theorem so our displacement is nothing but equal to ab this is straight line ab how much will be ab ab will be under root this is square plus this is square but they are a radius of the circle so root under r square plus r square upon t upon 4 Four, I can take it in the numerator. Now, r square plus r square root, it becomes root two times r, and this is t. This is four. Now, put the values. So, four root two, r is fourteen meters, and t is fourteen pi seconds. So, fourteen will cancel. So, how much will be left? Four root two upon pi. This will be four root two upon pi. meters per second so in this way we can find average velocity and average speed so i'll stop here students so we have finished our chapter in the next video uh, uh, i'll be discussing the exercise question answers from ncert read well all the very best thank you